Holding Cardano, you can't miss this video. Millionaire Charles Hoskins, who is also the creator of Cardano, thinks ADA will hit $100 on this date. Stay till the end of this video so you don't miss out on anything. Welcome back to our channel. We're your host, Richly. We'll cover exciting news on Cardano in today's video. But before we get started, subscribe to the channel or else your ADA will get locked in the wallet and you won't be able to cash in. Without any further delay, let's get started with the video. First, let's talk a little about Cardano. Cardano's native token is ADA. It's named after Ada Lovelace, a 19th century mathematician and daughter of poet Lord Byron, who's widely regarded as the first computer programmer. ADA is a type of cryptocurrency. Any user, anywhere in the world, can use ADA to make a safe value exchange without the need for a third party to broker the transaction. On the Cardano blockchain, every transaction is permanently, safely, and openly recorded. Every ADA holder owns a piece of Cardano network as well. ADA in a wallet can be delegated to stake pool and earn benefits for helping the network run smoothly, or pledged to a stake pool to boost the pool's chances of obtaining rewards. On the Cardano platform, ADA will eventually be able to use a range of apps and services. On the Cardano network, ADA is used to represent a stake in the network, with the stake size proportional to the quantity of ADA held. The ability to delegate or pledge a stake is critical to Cardano's functionality. An ADA holder can earn rewards on one of two ways, by delegating their stake to someone else's stake pool or by creating their stake pool. The Ouroboros protocol determines who should add the next blockchain to the blockchain and get a monetary reward based on the amount of stake delegated to each pool. The more stake a pool has, up to a certain point, the more likely it is to make the next block and the rewards are split among everyone who delegated their investment to that stake pool. Now that you have an idea of what is Cardano and how it works, let's take a look at founder Charles Hoskins and what he has to say about it. Charles Hoskin, a 33-year-old who appears to be a PhD student before Cryptomania took over his life, is the creator of Cardano. He's now something of a crypto rock star with a 105,000 subscriber YouTube channel, fan mail, and even giving from admirers, like a letter from Albert Einstein or a bronze eagle. That's the most bizarre part of it all. In an interview with Longmont, Colorado, Hoskin says, At airports? I'm recognized. Cardano is still a work in progress, even though his YouTube videos have tens of thousands of views. Even after an upgrade in early March, it's still unable to run many of the most popular crypto apps, such as decentralized financial initiatives that allow users to lend, trade, and borrow money from one another. I am not aware of a single popular Cardano application, nor have I seen any developer enthusiasm for the platform, says the author Nick Carter, co-founder of Coinmetrics, agreed. I'm baffled to why it's gaining so much popularity. Cardano had previously reached a high point in early 2018 during the crypto boom and bust before collapsing dramatically. According to data tracker CoinMarketCap.com, Cardano's market value increased to almost $34 billion this year, from around $5.6 billion last year. Investors may be buying Cardano's promise because they don't want to miss out on the rewards. It's being marketed as a better Ethereum, which has become a hotspot for projects ranging from DeFi to NFTs, as well as efforts using digital art on the blockchain. With Ethereum's transaction costs so expensive, developers have been looking at alternatives like Cardano as well as rivals Tron and Polkadot. We did everything perfectly, but it meant we were one of the last to reach the market, says the author. According to Hoskin, he claims he has no idea why Cardano's value has suddenly increased. It's been a wild ride going from broke to billionaire in eight years, but it's quite incredible, he says, according to Hoskin. Cardano's blockchain security and governance, according to Hoskin, are superior to Ethereum's, allowing for applications such as voting and supply chain tracking. Decentralized exchanges like Uniswap and collectible art like Digital Cats are less appealing to him. I want to run countries on this blockchain, he says, according to Hoskin. I don't give a damn about Uniswap, CryptoKitties, or anything else like Pet Rocks and Beanie Babies. It's a bubble that comes and goes. More than 100 businesses are in the works, according to the report. When Cardano's functionality matures, he plans to switch from Ethereum to it. 
you can operate your DeFi on my machine for one one hundredth to one one thousandth of the cost, he says. Hoskin got into crypto as a disgruntled 20-year-old who wanted to see heads tumble on Wall Street following the financial crisis, but he didn't get his wish. When he came upon the Bitcoin white paper in 2010, he examined all the references it listed and concluded Bitcoin will fail. Despite this, he began mining crypto in the majority of which he claimed he had given away or even spent. In 2015, Hosking co-founded the for-profit IOHK to work on Cardano and other crypto projects. Several significant angel investors contributed to the project, as well as a $70 million initial coin offering in Asia. According to Hoskin, IOHK received 8% of the coin supply, as well as around $30 million in cash, to build Cardano over the three years. According to him, IOHK is the largest of the 12 companies working on Cardano development. According to Track Electrical Capital, the average number of developers actively working on Cardano has almost doubled from 2018 and October 2020, which it describes as moderate. Hoskin explained, My job is to set it all up. To Apple, I can sort of serve like a Steve Wozniak, at the store, past the iPhones. Charles Hoskin, co-founder of Ethereum and Cardano, detailed as to why he believes Cardano will reach a trillion dollar market cap and finally hit 100 US dollars per token in a recent interview with Cointelegraph. The emphasis on research-first development is one of Cardano's primary differentiating features. When Cardano was first launched, there was a new crop of what Hoskin refers to as science coins, such as Algorand, Ava, and Starkwave. However, this method was profoundly unorthodox. The method is still criticized today for being too academically pedantic and slow. Hoskin, on the other hand, feels it will help Cardano excel in the future. He said, So my entire argument for academic rigor is that not only about today, but it is also about tomorrow in two ways. It's about tomorrow in the sense that we'll develop protocols and can grow to billions of users. And there are currently no protocols in place that allow us to do so. A project must build a decentralized brain that will permit continual invention to ensure that it can function and develop with its genius founder. He answered that, so when quantum computers come to life, we'll be prepared. We'll have protocols in place when we start performing these things on satellites. We'd like to see things work on a phone with the same user interface and recursive snarks. It also does not have to be constructed by a single company or party. It can emerge from the academic sector in the decentralized fashion. So I believe that the long-term preferable method, and it will not only approach that will bring us to a billion dollar protocol, he further added, Hoskin believed the crypto sector will develop from billions to trillions of dollars in a few years. Demographics are a major driver of this expansion. The first and most important aspect to remember is that everyone under the age of 35, according to McKinsey, these other people are more likely to possess a cryptocurrency with a bond, stock, or gold if you take a cross-section of them. As a result, the young are more interested in the asset class, and the young become wealthier as they grow. Furthermore, according to Hoskin, governments will begin to use blockchain technology while also providing clearer regulation. States will eventually run their voting systems. Eventually, states will determine where their property registration, amongst other things, take place. As a result, that fact that those system exits are all doing that, these are the things that generate more value inflow. Third, laws are being finalized so that the institutional investors can finally invest in our business, bringing billion dollars of fresh capital. And when all of these things come together, Hoskin believe Cardano will be the most benefited. I believe we're in the best position to collect the largest amount over the long term, he said. Now, whether it happens in five years, 10 years, or 15, a lot of things might happen to speed up or slow down our entire movement. We believe Cardano will rise, but consumers should be aware that $100 per ADA equates to a $3 trillion market cap. The total valuation of 1,000 for each coin would be 30 trillion. Bitcoin is currently valued at $56,820 and has a market capitalization of 1.06 trillion. At the moment, the US money supply is estimated to be at 37 trillion. Cardano's pricing began at 18 cents in 2021. 
ADA is currently trading at $1.71, a rise of 1,066% since the beginning of the year. ADA is expected to be $8.70 at the end of 2021, with a year-over-year -year change of plus 4,715%. The increase from today through the end of the year is 313%. We anticipate $3.55 per one ADA by the middle of 2021. The Cardano price will rise to $17.11 in the first half of 2022. The price would rise $12.05 in the second half to complete the year at $29.16, a gain of 1,285% over the current price. Over the next five years, there will be a major increase. Cardano's price would rise from $29 to $123, a 323% increase. Cardano will begin 2023 at $29.16, rise to $31.22 in the first half of the year, and end the year at $46.31. That's a 2,099% increase from today's price. Do you have enough Cardano in your bag? That's all for this one. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you love our content. Share if you want your fellow ADA lovers to watch this video. Don't forget to like the video and extend your support. Peace out.